How to create and manage a team in Nosebee. Hello. In this video, I'll show you how to add new members to your team and how to manage them. Team View. To view your team, click on the Team tab. This list is divided into three sections. Your team admins, your team, and sharing projects with. Under Your Team, you'll find all the people from your team. In other words, these are the people you pay for if you are a main team admin. In Nosebee, you can also share projects with people outside of your team, like freelancers, external companies, etc. When you have a project with people outside your team, those Nosebee users will be listed in the Sharing Projects With section. When you click You on this list, you'll see all of your tasks sorted by project. This view is great for seeing everything you want to do from a different perspective. When you click a specific person, Kate here, you'll see her tasks and any project that she shares with you. Of course, you won't see any of this person's private projects or even shared projects that you weren't invited to. This is just your view of all tasks that you can normally see by checking all projects in your Nosebe app. In this view, you can also invite specific people to the projects in a very quick way. Removing users from projects is also very fast in team view. Adding members to the team. If you are a team admin, you have an additional button on the bottom of your team view. Just click it and type the email address of anyone you want to add to your team. You can invite as many people as you want. If the number of team members reaches your account limit, the information on the button will change so that you know the next team member will cost you an additional few dollars per month. Remember that only team admins can add new members to the team or remove them. In this view, you can also nominate users to be team admins like you. Just choose the proper person and click the Promote to Admin button. Remember that Team Admin is the top role in a Nosebee team, so choose your team admins carefully. Nosebee Pro users can have two team admins. Nosebee Business users can assign unlimited team admins. When you invite someone to your team, an invitation will be sent to the email address you provided. How does this process look? There are four possible scenarios when you invite someone to your team. The person you invite, 1. Doesn't have a Nosebee account. 2. Has a free trial Nosebee account. 3. Is a team admin of another pro account. 4. Is a member of another team. In each scenario, the email invitation looks a little bit different. Let me show you how this process looks from each new team member perspective. When you don't have a Nosebee account, an invitation email looks like this. You need to click on the Accept the Invitation link. Then you will be redirected to a sign up form. Just insert your name and the password that you'll use to log into Nosebee later. After that, click the green button below and you'll be automatically logged into your Nosebee account. If you have a Nosebee account registered with the email address provided, you will receive a slightly different email. We ask if you want to switch teams. Let me explain what happens in three different scenarios. If you have a free or trial version of Nosebee and accept the invitation, your account will be upgraded to a paid account. If you are a team admin and accept the invitation to switch teams, a few things will happen. 1. From now on, you will be a user in the new team instead of team admin of your old team. Of course, the team admin of your new team can promote you to be a team admin there. 2. All accounts from your old team will be switched to personal pro accounts with the same validity as your old subscription. If you are a regular member of another team, accepting an invitation will just move you to the new team. Of course, if your old team had a pro account and you move to a team with a business account, you'll have more features available as far as support prioritization. Removing members from the team. If you want to remove a member from your team, go to Team View and find the proper person. You can remove someone from the team only if you are a team admin. If the person that you want to remove has some projects shared with you or within your team, you can remove him from them too. Just mark the proper checkboxes and confirm your choice. If this person was a project admin in some of the team projects, a new project admin in those projects will be nominated automatically. It will be the next person from the project users list. Now that we are at the end of this video, I'd like to say something important to those who don't feel comfortable using a tool like Nosebe. If you were just invited to a Nosebe team and you are a team admin and want to educate your team members, check out our 10 Steps to Ultimate Productivity course and visit and read our help page. You'll find many productivity tricks and Nosebee tutorials there. You can find links to all of these materials in the description of this video. Thanks for watching.
Don't forget to subscribe to this channel and be naturally organized with Nosby.